day number 30 of our amazing, awesome, anointed, blessed course of overcoming emotions with prayers, a guide to faith, prayer and deliverance school. I am praying that you are learning prayer strategies that you can apply to your everyday life. Amen. And I know sometimes in this walk, we all go through things. Sometimes you just feel like giving up. But I'm telling you, don't you dare give up. Because just at that moment when you feel like giving up, I'm telling you, God is getting ready to step in. So I'm excited because your miracle is right here on the horizon. So don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. And I believe that it's a blessing at the end of this course with your name on it. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for this you know, your prayers, your support for sowing into this ministry. I'm telling you, hallelujah, if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you will receive a prophet's reward. So I believe that it's a prophet's reward for you at the end of this course. Amen. So today we are going to talk about being exhausted. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. Remember, we're going to fight the good fight of faith, right? We're going to keep fighting. You know, even when you feel like you don't have the strength to go on, I see the Lord carrying some of y'all right now. You know, you ever heard that uh, that poem or that, that story where it was uh, the Lord's footprints and it was, you know, one, it was once, let me see, I'm missing out. God help me, Lord Jesus. There was one set of footprints in the sand. Those were the Lord's footprints and he was carrying the people, the person that just felt like they couldn't make it. Well, sometimes in life we, we are like that and the Lord is carrying us, you know, so God says in this word that he will give strength to those who don't have no might. Amen. And the word also tells us don't get weary and well doing because at the right time we will reap a harvest if we faint not. So don't you quit. Don't you give up. I'm telling you, your blessing is right here. Some of y'all are just a shout. Hallelujah. Away from your breakthrough. Don't you dare give up. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. You're just a day closer to your miracle. So you better praise God today. I break exhaustion off of you in the name of Jesus. I break the spirit of weariness off of you in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, just for endurance, God. I thank you, God, for um, that we will persevere, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that we keep on pressing towards the mark of the high call of God in Jesus Christ, God. God, I thank you that we will keep going forward, Lord God, and not look back, God. God, I thank you that you're doing a new thing in our lives, Lord God. God, I thank you that you're making the old things new, God. God, I thank you that you're making a highway, God, in those desert places, God. And every dry uh, pool in our lives, Lord God, you just bring the water and an abundance of rain upon it. God, I thank you just for the times of refreshing. God, I thank you, Lord God, that you're faithful, God, that you are merciful, God, and God, that you're gracious. God, I thank you for your love. God, I thank you for your protection. God, I thank you, Lord God. Just be grateful today. Be grateful. You're going to look back on this time. You're just going to be, just, just thank God. You're just going to just start thanking God. Some of y'all are just weeping with tears of joy because God is doing amazing things. You know what I'm saying? It may, it may look dark right now. But I'm telling you, you're getting ready to walk into the best season of your life. You're getting ready to walk into the best season of your life. You got to believe that. You got to receive this word and say, God, I thank you, Lord. I'm getting ready to walk into the best season of my life. God, I thank you that the closed doors, God, are opening for me. God, I thank you, Lord God, that everything in my life is lining up, God, according to your word, God. God, I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. No longer will I live in lack or delay, Lord God. But God, I'm living, Lord God, in prosperity. Come on, somebody. You got to get this in you. You got to write those confessions down. You got to confess it. Like I said before, your miracle is in your mouth. I remember it was a time I didn't have no food in, in, in my house. And I said, God, all I have was my faith. So I spoke to my refrigerator. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you to be filled. So I have food. I have food now. I remember it's time I didn't have gas in my car. So I spoke to my gas tank. And you best believe I had some gas. So I'm telling you, you better call those things that be not as if they were. So you write down your declaration. You don't quit. You don't quit. You make a conscious decision to not ever allow your emotions to run your life again. It's okay because you're a human to feel some kind of way. But don't you dwell on those feelings. No, 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 no. We're not going to let our emotions, our negative emotions, get us out of faith. No more. That stops now in Jesus' name. We are going to take up our cross. We're going to fall after Christ daily. We're going to cut off the naysayers. 
you know, some of y'all got people around here, yep, 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 causing doubt in your life. We get rid of those naysayers in Jesus' name. We're not going to watch something that's going to cause us to, uh, I guess, go back into those negative emotions. You know, let me tell you something. This is what the enemy does. The enemy is going to try to test you. Some of y'all are doing good in, in your emotions, but then the enemy will send somebody in your path to get you discouraged. Don't take the bait. Say, nope, I'm not going to let no one steal my joy. I'm not going to let no one steal my peace in the name of Jesus. So the next emotion we're going to talk about is expectancy. Are you expecting God to do something for you today? I'm expecting God to do something amazing in our lives. And just because you took the time to make a spiritual investment, I'm expecting God to blow your mind. I'm expecting God to blow your mind. And God, I thank you, Lord God, for the blessing attached to this course. In Jesus' name, God, bless the viewers, God. Bless, Lord God, every student of this course right now in Jesus' name. So some of y'all just be expecting I prophesy checks to the mail. I prophesy good news. I prophesy restored relationships. In Jesus' name, I'm telling you, hallelujah, I feel a miracle. Hallelujah, getting ready to break out. In Jesus' name, I'm excited. All right, so our next emotion is exuberant. I'm going to read that. And it says, emotion is to be effusively and almost uninhibitedly enthusiastic. We just talked about enthusiasm yesterday. And it means to be lavish, abundant, abounding, and vitality. Extremely joyful and vigorous. Have you ever been in the presence of God? Oh, yes. I love God's presence. I, I cried out tonight and I said, God, I can't live, God, without your presence. I'm like, God, don't take your presence, God, away from me. God, I have to feel your fire every single day. I can't live, God, without your fire. Lord God, I need your I need your presence more than I need, you know, the other things. That's real talk. Hallelujah. You know, that's what I really feel. I feel exuberant in God's presence. It's a like refreshing. You know, I, I I can't explain it. It's just wonderful. Everything I need comes from her. The ideas to generate wealth. Just, I'm telling you, when you get in God's presence, God is getting ready to give you. I'm prophesying now. Receive this word. God is getting ready to give you just because you are attached to me. Hallelujah. And the anointing is tangible. I'm telling you. Just because you are attached to me, you're connected to me somehow. The same way God gives me ideas to generate wealth, those ideas are getting ready to come upon your life. Hallelujah. Some things are not just... Some things are not taught, but some things are caught. Hallelujah. So I tell people to stay connected to the anointing. Hallelujah. And this is real talk. This is real. When I get in God's presence, God gives me ideas. Hallelujah. I would never thought in a million years that I would be writing books. I would never thought in a million years I would be doing a monthly magazine for the ministry that the Lord has entrusted me with while I'm on this earth. Come on, somebody. God is getting ready to give you an idea. You're getting ready to get that thing patented. Come on, somebody. Get in God's presence. You know, cut the TV off. Get into worship. I'm excited for you. I'm I, I'm, I'm expecting God to do something in your life. Tell me at the end of this course, you're going to be teaching seminars. You're going to be having speaking engagements. You're going to be testifying how God brought you out, how God healed you in your emotions. So I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. All right, so receive those prophetic words spoken over your life, and I will see you tomorrow.